So contrary to Matt's denying me slash belief, we were able to get the wood and he's kindly it. dragging it down. Lowe's was kind enough to cut it for us. So now we just have to find a friend that will help us snatch it. We're gonna go get some wood stain. And all in all, once again, I was right. It was a success and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. I'll keep you guys posted. So this is our 20th time trying to film this little topic for you guys because Matt, he has a splinter and apparently it's so painful <laughs> that he just can't help but drop a few words here and there. Um, so we're back in the car. It was really a success. They were really helpful in there. Matt did not believe that they would cut our wood, help us out, slash he really didn't think that I knew what I was talking about. But were you surprised that I really do know what I'm talking about, Matt? Lowe's is like a playground for me. I was trying to cut the wood and everything, so that's why I got a splinter. Matt was like, you just use regular glue? <laughs> I was like, no, you use wood glue. Like, I don't think he knows much about handiwork. I will say though, he came through with insurance, so he does know some life skills. But I mean, the splinter is really taking a toll out of him right now, so I- Yeah, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Let's head doing? home. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna try and find a friend that will help us notch this wood. Which then, I, I, I can do everything on table saws, jigsaws, everything, it's just, I don't have any of my tools here in Texas, so that's the reason why we need some A jigsaw? Tools. Yeah, a jigsaw. What's a tables, jigsaw? Table saw, they have all the stuff, so. Like I said, Lowe's is like a playground for me. I was in there for a while having fun with all the different tools. <laughs> you being one of them? <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Okay, guys, it's the next day. We are in the car. We are headed, as I said, to Matt's friend who's going to help us cut up these boards <clears throat> for the pantry closet wood shelf covering. I think it's gonna be quick. I'm hoping it only takes like 15 minutes, but we're driving down there and then we got our Patriots gear on because Matt, what is today? Turn left. AFC Championship game, Patriots by a million, and then we're on to Minnesota. So we're really excited. We can't wait to see the Patriots hopefully win this game um, and then go on to the Super Bowl. Matt and I were lucky enough to go to the Super Bowl last year in Houston. And I'll actually leave that blog post where we explain how we ended up going because it was kind of a surprise um, below. But it's by far our favorite memory of last year, right? Best memory of 2017. It was really last minute and it was really crazy. Um, so we're excited to see them go again this year and see all the other people get to go and have that experience anyways we're off we'll touch back once we're in dallas with the woodcutter guy and we'll see you guys then i don't know woodcutter guy right handyman let's call him the guy that knows how to do all well, this stuff. i can i can cut the wood i just don't have to stop i don't think he knows what a wood table is yes, shall we roll the tape of you with the sliver yesterday I think the fact that the sliver was that dramatic shows you how much of a handyman that is. But we'll touch base with you guys when we get there. Bye. gotta glue the wood pieces no. together which I'll show you. Gonna be Matt apparently is gonna do it and I'm really excited this project's coming together. We'll see you guys inside with some Chinese food and some handyman, maybe handy mat work. Thanks. Bye. So we are back in the apartment. We got some delicious 
Chinese food and we are watching the Patriots second half of the game and we have our boards all lined up over there and we're gonna get to it. Okay, so Matt still had little faith in my project, so I put one of the boards I put together in the pantry to kind of show him. And now he understands, but basically, if you were really confused about what I was trying to accomplish, it's this. Hold on, let me turn around the camera. So basically, it's just two pieces of wood. One is plywood, the top part, and then this part is pine wood. And they just go together like this just to cover the wiring so we're not taking the wiring shelf out we're just made like a easy cover um in hopes just to make it more aesthetically pleasing so again this is not we're not replacing the shelf it is just purely a cover i think for all the supplies it only cost us 30 dollars in all the cutting we were able to do at lowe's minus um just needing help cutting the plywood but besides that it really is a cheap and simple way to fix your shelves if you don't like this look my biggest issue was that things were falling over on these shelves so I'm hoping that this since it's a solid surface now will allow us to stack more and get more use out of our space I will paint the wood hopefully tonight and tomorrow I'll get to the closet and finish it up so all not would be three days of moderate easy fixes if you can get a friend to help you hammer while the glue is drying you probably just watched Matt and I put together Matt, excuse the mess, we're still organizing from the flood, but you probably just saw us put together the wood boards. Again, it was super simple, plywood, pine wood. We glued the boards together and then it asked to staple gun, but we decided to nail since we didn't own a staple gun and really didn't see any point in purchasing one. Um, so we just put a few nails in the boards to hold it together and help um, the glue settle and I'm going to stain them now and then tomorrow I'm going to put them in and I'm really excited. Matt, what do you think of this project so far? Um, missing the Patriots game. We're doing it while watching the Patriots game and it's the fourth quarter and who knows what's going to happen but we'll see you guys in a little while. So Matt, what do you have to say about the Patriots? We are Never super. doubted them. Super Bowl bound. Blitz for six. Brady's the GOAT. Best of all time. No arguing. We are super excited to see them in the Super Bowl, and I'm so glad I wore my little Patriots t-shirt today. Anyways, I'm going to show you the process of staining the wood now. So for anyone still confused as to what we did, we got plywood, and then we got pine wood, and we made a niche in the pine wood to lie the plywood on top of. I will leave instructions below and also a link to the website that inspired me to do this project. But it was super simple. Then we glued the plywood to the pine wood, and we nailed in probably five to eight nails on each um, shelf. I am going to stain it now and then I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll stain it, let it dry, and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I put it into the closet. Can't wait. Okay guys, it is the third and final day of this segment and today I'm going to show you the empty pantry, everything we're going to put into the pantry and I'm also going to share um, the containers I purchased and kind of the design I'm going for. Again, I think the shelves came out so good. I know last time you saw us we were watching the Patriots game and they won. So that was exciting um, and today I'm just trying to wrap this up. I have a phone meeting at 3 so I'm hoping to get all of that done. It's about 9.30 right now um, so I think we'll have plenty of time but basically 
to break it down, I'll show you everything that we go in our pantry, the empty pantry with the shelves that we made, and then the containers and the final product. And of course, this will be included with the blog post so you can kind of see more detail in the photos there. So the final product. Ah! So this is what it looks like. I think it looks so good. So again, we made these shelves. The last time you saw us, we were staining them. The stain dried and now we're left with these beautiful covers. Again, they're just covers, so if you pull out, the wire rack is still there um, and they just slide right over. And all in all, I do think they really give the closet a much better aesthetic and just look. From far away, you totally think that they're um, freestanding wood shelves. Um, even from close up, you can't really tell. Maybe the only dead giveaway would be that you can still see the knobs from the shelf underneath. But besides that, I just think it looks so good and it kind of makes our space look a lot bigger. Because I took everything out, I vacuumed the floors, and I will take you over to my table of all of our food. First off, disclaimer. I live with Matt, so a lot of this food is not super healthy and most of it is just a brand name, really generic, because he goes through, and I quote, two packs of Oreos in a day. Um, so buying high quantity is important for me because he just eats so much food. So you'll see a lot of snack food for Matt, a lot of soups for me, um, and just random stuff here and there. Um, I hope this inspires you to eat healthier than we do um, because we are by no means health nuts here. So I'm gonna jump right into it and kind of walk you through what we have in the pantry. And then I'll go over the containers we got, why we chose them, and so on. Diet Coke, because I'm obsessed with it. Then we have seltzer water, because I just can't get enough. Um, for Matt Nesquik. For me, and basically when we have guests over, because we do a lot, um, Folgers. Then we have olive oil, hot cocoa. I love to have this at night if I kind of want um, something sweet. Canola oil. Um, we bought this yesterday and I think the box is like already gone. That just shows you how quickly Matt eats food. But um, obviously little snacks. Popcorn is a snack I eat a lot when I'm working. We got some flour, sugar, saltines, peanut butter, peanut butter, sprinkles, which are my favorite. I put them in everything. Odd fact about me, including yogurt. Um, almonds, a bunch of almonds, granola for yogurt, two bags of granola, we have brown sugar down there, baking, we got chia seeds, I love throwing these in my iced tea and my water throughout the day just to curve my appetite, Oreos, white Oreos, or vanilla Oreos, more saltines, we got three bags of chocolate chips, mayonnaise from Matt, we got a ton of goldfish. I mean, having Matt not open these was an acclimate for me. Um, he was really tempted to eat these, but I was like, wait till the containers arrive. Saltines, right rice for dinner, long grain rice. We got noodles back here. I love these dumpling noodles. Um, I don't know why, my mom uses them for a few dishes and I just, tried them again the other day and can't get enough. I got a lot of Campbell soup. Matt loves the Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Um, we got bread crumbs, a lot of bread crumbs actually. And then I love Progresso soup because I just feel like you get more and um, it's a little more hearty. So I have a ton of this chicken noodle. Um, and I did get a can organizer down there it will focus for all these cans because we do always have a ton of cans we got some potatoes more noodles and then we got some stuff down here which is just random stuff we have toilet paper I make Matt's lunches for the whole entire week on Sunday so a bag of his lunches more of his lunches some pancake mix water bottles um, and can organizer so all in all, this is what we have for our pantry, just kind of generic food. It's kind of what we eat or just try and stockpile. Most importantly for me is definitely seltzer water. A 
Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm in the car because after talking to Matt, <laughs> the Cocoa Krispies are officially gone. He ate the whole box in a day. So, with that note, we're off to Walmart again to load up. I'm probably gonna get some more chia seeds and Cocoa Krispies, of course, for Matt. I threatened him and I told him he, I was gonna get him only healthy cereal and he was like, no! So, I'll surprise him with some Cocoa Krispies and we're off. Okay guys, I am back and better than ever from my trip to Walmart, we got Matt the Cocoa Pop. So we're gonna put this into our third cereal container, then move on to the Oreo jars and then we'll start organizing inside the pantry. So let's get to it. I mean, I kid you not, I just pulled this bag out because he told me he thought he had a little left. I mean, one day, Matt, you ate the whole box. I just, I don't know. Does anyone else have this issue with buying groceries for their boyfriends? Like, I mean, it's really hard for me to keep any food in the pantry. I have to resort to chia seeds and almonds and things he doesn't like in order to eat. So now Matt has cereal for probably three days. Okay, now I'm gonna go get the cookie jars. We are gonna work on the next project, which is filling these cookie jars. As I said, I originally saw these in Chloe's kitchen. I think if you watch Kardashians, you know what I'm talking about. And when I first moved into this apartment with Matt, we had these on our counter, and when guests came in, I thought they could take some cookies and run. Well, because Matt eats so many cookies in a day, we they just weren't, they didn't look aesthetically pleasing enough basically to leave on the counter because most of the time it was empty. So I figured I'd get another cookie jar and put them in the closet that way he can still eat as many as he wants and I don't have to worry so much about filling it up if people are coming over. So I hope that this looks good. I bought one of these at Target and then the other one at Walmart and the Walmart one was much cheaper than the Target one. So I'm gonna link the Walmart one down below and they're the same thing and I think they're only $7. So again, not super expensive, they do go on sale. And I have chocolate Oreos and vanilla Oreos to fill these up with. I should have got one more bag of Oreos I think while I was at the grocery store but we'll see how far we get guys, okay? Let's start with the chocolate Oreos because they're on top. So we'll fill this one up with chocolate. I mean, this doesn't have to be perfect, but you all get the gist of what we're going for here. Delish. So that Oreo is done, including this. So one box down, and now we have our yellow Oreos going in this container. Okay, so all in all, it only took two boxes of each um, Oreos to fill up. And the Oreos I bought were family size, so they were big containers. So two large containers or three regular size containers. Um, and I'm gonna move these on into the pantry. And I think that is everything. And I think I'll meet you guys in the pantry and we'll start diving in there. I'm happy to report the pantry is complete. I am so excited to share it with you guys and we're gonna keep it a surprise. Matt's coming home any second now and we'll see his reaction and his thoughts. He always has some strong opinions, so we'll get those from him. But overall, I'm really happy the way it turned out. I think the containers really made a huge difference in the overall look and aesthetic. And I love the Oreo jars, the extra storage. I think overall it came out really well and make sure you check out our blog post so that you can see the final images because I think I might run out and just buy a few things to finish it off um, decor wise. I know you must think I'm insane if I'm gonna put decor in my pantry but I don't know eventually I would love to hang something here so that we can hang our pots and pans because this blank wall I think would be great for that but right now I'm just gonna cut to some film of the pantry and then we'll see Matt's opinions and thanks for following along and hold on to see Matt's reaction.
Okay, Matt is at the door. I'm back from work. What are you doing? <laughs> We're gonna sh show your reaction to the pantry. We don't go to the pantry yet. Let's see what he thinks. I worked so hard on this. <laughs> Very impressed. Actually looks really nice. That's Work. all you have to say? No, it's really clean. Oh, you bought more cocoa pebbles. I knew he would notice the cocoa pebbles. Yeah, this is actually really nice. This is cool. It's like a little Kardashian thing. And he brings up the Kardashians. You can tell what he does on Sunday nights. Oh, I'm making a mess. You're impressed? Yeah, I'm going to make an Instagram story and tell everyone I did it. These are real, stories? these are fake Oreos. <laughs> I meant they're not name brand. Do you have an issue with not name brand Oreos, Matt? Yeah, I do. I yeah. told them that you can't have name brand Oreos because you eat them too quickly. Great work by Aubrey. Great credit stealing by Matt. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna have to buy more goldfish because I'm not shooting these images till two days and this will probably Fishes be gone. This is all dirty. Well, if he cleaned anything, it would be clean. <laughs> Bye.